Did. Let's get on with the treasure hunt. That thunder sure sounds like drums to me. It does have a crazy beat. What? I claim this island in the name of... <coughs> well, Tintin and his friends are not alone. Don't miss Jungle Jitters. The next exciting episode of Urge's Adventures of Tintin. Produced by Teleachette and Bellvision. Urge's Adventures of Tintin. Red Rackham's Treasure. Jungle Jitters. As the time bomb ticked on, Snowy heard the ticking and barked excitedly. Tintin heard Snowy's yelps and went to see what was wrong. In seconds, Tintin found the bomb and threw it overboard, just in time. Arrow! Hit the deck! This will stop him. That shot scared him away for a while, Captain. Okay, heroes, you can come out now. Those natives aren't cannibals. Promise? Scouts are They're merely <laughs> headhunters. Well, let's not lose our heads, gentlemen. Oh, let's get on with exploring this blooming island. Yeah! <laughs> Uh-oh, it's the captain. Thunder and typhoons. What a place to leave a hunk of wood. Captain, that piece of wood. It looks like an old... Oh, look! How can I look with me eyes full of sand? It's the remains of a lifeboat. <coughs> From Sir Francis Haddock's ship. Oh, this is our island for sure. Men, let's stick close together. Is this close enough? <laughs> Those bird brains don't even know we're here. <laughs> okay, let's get them. Not now, you trigger happy hoodlum. Let's let the natives do our dirty work for us. <laughs> Forever me timbers, you freshwater pirates. Wonder what Sir Francis Haddock would say if he was here now. Swabs, you landlubber! Perfect. Landlubber? Ah, did it! Dick, come out and fight man to man, you swab! Hold your fire, Captain. There's your insulting friends. Baboon! <laughs> Swap the deck, you pirate! <laughs> Those blabbermouths, they're for the birds. <laughs> I'll show them. Fire one! <laughs> Ooh. Snowy, what's wrong? What's that? <laughs> Captain! What's that thing? An idol of me famous ancestor, Sir Francis Haddock. <laughs> Notice the resemblance? Yes. The, the, the same mouth. Oh, be careful, boy. This jungle is creepy. Careful with that idol, men! Oh, don't worry, Captain. This idol is in good hands. Please, dear brother, you're going the wrong way. Ah! It's the Thompson! Ah! Oh! 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 Well, the Thompsons are in trouble this time. Don't miss Headhunters! 
the next exciting episode of Hershey's Adventures of Tintin. Produced by Teleachet and Belvision. And that episode of The Adventures of Tintin continues tomorrow afternoon at the same time, 4.20. Now on BBC One... To... Thursday's Adventures of Tintin. Red Rackham's Treasure. Ed Hunters. The Treasure Island was inhabited, and the natives were not friendly. So Captain Haddock fired and frightened the natives away. In the jungles, danger lurked nearby because the determined Max Bird was on the island. Snowy discovered a weird idol, the idol of Sir Francis Haddock. Haddock wanted the idol, so it was being taken to the ship when the idol was pulled back. Something was wrong. Very wrong. Oh. The Townsends, they're in trouble. Hurry, boy! <laughs> yeah. Huh? What? Oh, thunder and typhoons! And take off me hat, you toad! Now, where'd Tintin go? It. Tintin! Where are you, lad? No answer. What a spooky island. They must be getting jumpy. <laughs> Captain, what are you doing up that tree? What am I doing? I'm picking coconuts. What else? Shh, quiet. Blistering barnacles. It, it's the Thompsons. I demand to speak to my lawyer. Precisely, our lawyer. No lawyer. Oh. I can read that sign language. Oh, I'll blast those savages. No, Captain. I got a better idea. Look over there. That idol with fruits and gifts at its feet. They worship that idol. They're gonna sacrifice the Thompsons. We gotta get busy. Now here's my plan, Captain. Calm, dear brother. Righto. Let's not lose our heads. <laughs> Stop, you maniacs, simple minded savages, dimwits, nincompoops. On your knees, you stupid swabs. How dare you offer me such second-class sacrifices? Such fat heads! Fat heads? Bow your heads. No, it is in the dust, you worms. And don't get up. The captain's quite an actor, Snowy. In fact, he overacts. <laughs> get going, Tintin. I've got enough insults to hold these swabs for days. Simple-minded scoundrels. Schizophrenic scallywags. Pinheaded primitives, brainless barship is oaks. Tintin! Shh, quiet. Neurotic knuckleheads. You can relax now, Captain. Let's get out of here. Idiotic ignoramuses. To the beach! Those natives will get wise sooner or later. Don't worry, Tintin. I scared the pants off them shoulder heads. Well, we're out of danger now, lad. But 
Danger is looking at them down a gun barrel. Don't miss Gunfire. Red Rackham's Treasure. Gunfire. On the island of Red Rackham's Treasure, natives captured the Thompson twins. But Tintin saw a wooden idol and got a clever idea. Just as the natives were about to behead the Thompsons, the idol spoke. And when the natives heard the strange voice, they fell to their knees. So, while Captain Haddock kept the natives in fear, Tintin released the Thompsons. Then, while the headhunters kneeled, Captain Haddock carried the idol to his ship. But... It's Max Bird. You missed, you clumsy nitwit. Is everybody okay? No, we're not okay. Those trigger-happy pirates shot me ancestor's nose off. But Snowy, where's Snowy? We can't wait for the natives to do the job. I got a bead on one of them now. Snowy! That mangy mongrel bites. I'm getting out of here. Good boy, Snowy. You can let go of him now. Let me at him, Tintin. He'll pay for shooting me ancestor's nose off. Steady, Captain. Let's take him aboard ship and ask him a few questions. Now we know Max Bird's ship is anchored on the other side of the island. We gotta be careful, Captain. Tomorrow morning we can dive for the unicorn. Right about here. Diving suit's ready, sir. Good. Keep it ready. Wait till I get that tin tin underwater. <laughs> Okay, lower away. Steady, men. Easy does it now. Steady. Be careful with my submarine, Tintin. And as soon as you find a unicorn, push the red button and we see the smoke, yeah? Okay, Professor. When you find Red Rackham's treasure, call us on the wireless, Tintin. Sorry, but there's no radio on this sub. Remember, Tintin. You got only two hours supply of oxygen. Don't worry. See you later. If that was a bigger sub, I'd be with him. There goes Tintin. He's gone down. Some better be safe, Professor. Oh, it's watertight, all right. Uh, theoretically. Hmm. Still no signs of the unicorn, Snowy. What happened? We're not moving. Look, we're hung up on seaweeds. I'll see if I can back her up. No. We gotta break out of here, Snowy, and quick! I'll signal for help with a smoke signal. Professor, look! Tintin found the unicorn! All we can do now, Snowy, is wait. Oh. But we can't wait long. We're almost out of oxygen. We'll mark the treasure spot with a buoy. But why didn't Tintin come back? That's odd. Gee, there's not much oxygen left. Snowy! He passed out. Take it easy, Snowy. Great Scott, we can't last much longer. I, I hope they see our smoke signal. Now, let's have a look at our treasure. Thundering typhoons. But it's not the unicorn. It's Tintin. Did Captain Haddock find Tintin too late? Don't miss Operation Rescue. <laughs> Red Rackham's Treasure.
Operation Rescue. Max Bird had a bead on Captain Haddock. It's Max Bird. But Snowy attacked from the rear, and Max Bird retreated. Back on board the Sirius, Tintin prepared to dive in the professor's sub to search for Red Rackham's treasure. But beneath the sea, Tintin and Snowy ran into trouble. They were tangled in seaweed. What's worse, they were out of oxygen. But how long can they last without oxygen? <laughs> Professor, it's him. I see Tintin. He's unconscious. He's out of oxygen by this time. We got to do something quick. I'm going down after him. Great. You cannot save Tintin like that. We must use this hook. My hook or crook. I'm going down after the lad. But with this hook, we can grab the sub and haul it up. Captain, I think I got a bite. I caught on to something. It feels like... A fail! Heave ho, Professor! One, two, three... Never send a boy to do a man's job. I'll show you how to give her the old heave ho. Just watch a real sailor work. A one, a two, Put your weight on it, Captain. Uh, uh, three. Oh! Oh. Captain, quit playing in the water. Playing, is it? Why, I'll, I'll, ooh, you. Captain, Tintin, I don't see him no more. He, uh, he's. Never mind, Professor. I found him! Tintin, is he alive? He's alive, all right, but we gotta get him aboard the Sirius, quick! I'm okay now, but for a while I thought we were headed for Davy Jones' locker. Well, I'm not letting you go down in that contraption again, Tintin. But, Captain, that was just an accident. There's nothing wrong with a submarine. The Snowy and I will make another dive tomorrow. Don't worry, Captain. I'll be okay this time. I don't trust that do-it-yourself sub. Such courage! For such bravery, we should blow trumpets! Excuse us, but we're so emotional, you know. I've learned my lesson, Snowy. This time, I'll steer clear of seaweed. And if the unicorn is down there, we'll find it. Snowy, look! There she is! We found the unicorn! I'd better send up the smoke signal. Snowy, what's the matter? Oh no! It's a... It's a shark! A killer shark! Snowy, he's headed straight at us! How would you like to meet this monster of the deep face to face? Don't miss... Shark bait. Shark bait. At the bottom of the sea, Tintin and Snowy were out of oxygen. But Captain Haddock saw them and lowered a hook into the water to free the entangled sub from the seaweed. Finally, the sub was raised and Tintin was put aboard the Sirius to rest. Later, Tintin made his second dive to look for the unicorn. But a killer shark was looking for them. Snowy, he's heading straight at us. What a spot. Tintin's sub is only bait for this killer shark. Gee, Snowy, we're in for it. But hey, what's that shark up to? Oh, no. That overgrown sardine thinks we're another shark. Boy, is he nearsighted. Oh, well, they say love is blind, huh, Snowy? 
I better drop a smoke bomb and get rid of that monster. Captain, it sounds like a big explosion in the water. Shark must be allergic to smoke, huh, Snowy? Now, back to the serious. I guess I'll have to use my diving suit now. You sure you'll be okay, Tintin? Don't worry, Captain. If I get in a jam, I'll yank on the rope, and you haul me up. Right. And the Thompson twins will keep pumping oxygen to you. I won't come back without Red Rackham's treasure. Just be sure and come back, boy. <laughs> well, all we can do now is wait. And hope. Now cut that out. I can't stand to see a grown man cry. Or could you snivel in your land lovers and... Hey! Man the pumps, you swabs! Before Tintin passes out! Pump, pal, pump! I'm pumping, I'm pumping! Whew. At last, fresh oxygen! You can always depend on the Thompsons. Wow, there she is, the unicorn. Tintin must be inside the unicorn now. Lucky I'm not nervous. It, oh, I mean, lucky I'm not nervous. Captain, I'm afraid I have bad news. Great. All I need is a little bad news. Look at my pendulum haddock. Professor, when you've seen one pendulum, you've seen them all. You don't understand, Captain. According to my pendulum, Red Rackham's treasure is west of here. That wreckage below can't be the unicorn. Ah, oh, Professor, get lost. And, and, and take that pendulum with you. See? How could I see? But I still say, Red Rackham's treasure is west of here. My pendulum never lies. Wow. Sure is spooky in this old pirate ship. It's more like a ghost ship. Uh-oh, a rusty old pirate cutlass. And a gold cross. Just think, centuries ago, a real pirate used this sword. Hmm, that's odd. I've got a silly feeling that someone is watching me, but that's ridiculous. Well, Tintin is not alone under the sea, and that's no ghost following him. Don't miss Duel in the Deep. Duel in the Deep. At the bottom of the sea, Tintin found the sunken unicorn. Inside the ship, Tintin found a gold cross and a rusty pirate cutlass. But suddenly, Tintin had a strange feeling that he was not alone. A mysterious frogman was following Tintin. It was Max Bird. With knife in hand, Max Bird stalked the unsuspecting Tintin. What? It, it's Max Bird! What's Tintin doing down there, Professor? Seems like he's been underwater for hours. Maybe Tintin is in trouble, Captain. Nope. I've kept an eye on this rope all the time. If anything went wrong, Tintin would have yanked on the rope. Blister and barnacles, but the rope's broke. No, Professor. It's been cut. My oxygen 
alive. He, he's cutting it. If, if he cuts off my oxygen, uh, I'm really done for. Hey, what, what's that? Great Scott, it's, it's an octopus. A giant octopus. I can't let a man die like that. Even Max Bird. Help! Get this thing off of me! If I miss, this killer will get both of us. Give me some rope. Plenty of rope. And get a move on. Maybe Tintin can grab one of these ropes. Man the pumps, you landlubbers! We're pumping, we're pumping. Blimey, I'm getting too pooped to pump. <sighs> Captain, I got a nibble. Tintin yanked on the rope. Pull him up, sailor. Oh, that's odd. Tintin's yanking on this rope, too. Thundering typhoons. How could he be on both ropes? All those ropes in, men. Captain, look! Professor, look. Where? Where? Tintin. What's this? Max Bird. Boy, was Captain Haddock surprised when he fished Max Bird out of the sea? If it was up to me, I'd have kept the pirate at the bottom. The law will take care of Max Bird. Now we can finish exploring the unicorn. Woo -hoo -hoo. But this is impossible. This cannot be part of Iraqan's treasure. Mine pendulum keeps telling me the treasure is best of here. I'm warning you, Professor. Any more of that preposterous pendulum poppy cock and you'll, you'll both go west. But Nine Pendulum never failed. We must look west of here. You get some rest, Tintin, while a real diver goes to work. Ready for the helmet, Captain? Ready? Yeah! Oh, oh you blister and barnacles, boy! Get this thing off of me beard! Well, back to the pumps, dear brother. Just call us the Pumpson Brothers. Be careful, Captain. Here be! Going down. <laughs> Basement. Seaweed, lobsters, bass, sharks. <laughs> oh, what a lovely day for treasure hunting. What's this? Great gobs of whale blubber. It's... It's a bottle of pirate rum, and, and, and over 250 years old. <laughs> what a souvenir! Aye, how lucky can a guy get? I'm afraid Captain Haddock's luck is changing fast. Don't... Demon of the Deep. Max Bird attacked Tintin at the bottom of the sea. A giant octopus caught Max Bird by the throat. Tintin came to the rescue and saved his enemy's life. Later, Captain Haddock relieved Tintin in the exploration and stumbled upon an ancient bottle. It was a bottle of pirate rum from the unicorn, but his luck didn't last long. <laughs> I hope no water got in it. That would be a tough break, right? Uh-oh. A whale? Uh, I, I mean shark. It, too late to pull me up now. Stand back, you beast, or I lower the boom on you. You asked for it. Ah, watch where you're going, you glandular sardine. Whoops. Whoa, oh, oh. What's this? Blistering blue barnacles. A treasure chest. <laughs> How about that? Red Rackham's treasure. <laughs> Go away, beat it, get lost. Hey, that pirate pilfered me treasure. One, two, three. Well, at least he left me all me fingers. I'll get that treasure back if I have to cut that monster into anchovies. Uh, say, he's acting mighty peculiar. He acts like he's, like he's... Pixelated. Captain sure been down a long time. Ah! 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 
It's him. There's a signal. Pull him up. He feels heavy as a shark. Snowy, look, that's not the captain. It's it's a shark. Pull the shark in and throw a rope to the captain. Ahoy, men! This calls for a celebration. The drinks are on me. It's the captain. Haul him aboard. It wasn't easy, Captain. But we got... Gentlemen, we're about to become zillionaires. <laughs> Oops, Professor. Do you see what I see? Actually, no. Papers. Nothing but musty old parchments. And I wanted so much to be a millionaire. Relax, Captain. Money isn't everything. No, but it'll buy everything. Wow. Just look at that island in the moonlight. Such a beautiful island. Look, on that small hill. Did you see it? Thunder and typhoons. Uh, it looks like a cross. A man-made cross. Captain, that's it. The treasure map mentioned the Eagle's Cross. The treasure might be buried on the island. We'll go ashore at dawn. I don't see any of those natives around. No, but the natives see you, Captain. Don't miss the Eagle's Cross. The Eagle's Cross. When the killer shark attacked Captain Haddock, Haddock struck the monster with a bottle of rum. But the shark swallowed the rum and became quite pixelated. Haddock found a small chest and it contained only some maps. Then, just when all hope was lost, Tintin noticed something on the treasure island. He spotted a strange cross. And they set out at once to search the island. But there's a welcoming committee waiting for them. According to my scientific pendulum, the treasure is over here. Yeah. Natives, to the ship, quick! Thunder and typhoons. Look! Not over there. Over here. No, no. Over here. Natives, we're trapped! Let's hope Tintin and his friends haven't dug their own grave. Don't miss Savage Surprise. The next exciting episode of Urge's Adventures of Tintin. Ed Rackham's Treasure. Savage Surprise. On Red Rackham's Treasure Island, Tintin and his friends found the Eagle's Cross and started to dig for buried treasure. They didn't find the treasure, but they did find savages. They were surrounded by the savage natives. Look, rats! Blistering barnacles. What the... The mountain. It, it's cracking up! Run, Captain! Captain! Where are you? Captain! Is Captain Haddock buried under this avalanche? Vanishing Island. The natives surrounded Tintin and his friends and captured them. But the volcano again exploded and frightened the natives away. Then, when Captain Haddock headed for the ship, the volcano really blew up, leaving Captain Haddock under a pile of rocks. <coughs> Captain! <coughs> Where are you, Captain? <coughs> At least we brought back some souvenirs. The Unicorn's Anchor and Figurehead. Well, at least we can have some peace and quiet now. Captain! Tin Tin! It's a professor. Shh! 
Centrumen, I found it! The real secret of the universe! Heart, as Tintin and his friends watched, the entire island sank into the sea. Heading for home without Red Rackham's treasure, they were startled when Professor Calculus announced he had found the lost treasure. Great Scott! This is fantastic! Blistering barnacles! What kind of a jigsaw puzzle is that? That is no puzzle, Captain. That document says Hudson Manor belonged to Sir Francis Haddock. Captain, that means that you now own Hudson Manor. Thunder and typhoons! You're right! <laughs> I'm the only living relative. Right out, Captain. Where should we put this, uh... Thing. The crew said it gives them nightmares. So, oh, insulting me ancestors, eh? I'll teach you to respect me, noble ancestors. I'll clobber you land lovers. Next time, mind your manners. Poor captain. He's not himself since he failed to find the treasure. Now, I must go work on my latest invention. <laughs> My hi-fi is too low. I can't hear a thing. After weeks at sea, the Sirius pulls into port with the unlucky treasure hunters. And now, Captain Haddock, tell our audience exactly how you found Red Rackham's treasure. We? Uh, 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 why, uh, uh, the professor is the real brains behind the treasure hunt. Who, uh, me? I mean, we didn't... Uh... Oh, come now, Professor. You're just being modest. Of course. As the very greatest inventor, I must be modest. By the way, let me show you my latest invention. What does it do? How do I know? Push the little black button and we will see. This button? Hm. I was afraid it might do that. We should have told that reporter the truth. That we didn't find Red Rackham's treasure. He wouldn't have believed it, Tintin. <laughs> ah, good old Hudson Manor. And to think I am lord and master of this layout. Well, master, let's look your castle over. Since those bird brothers lived here before, we better fumigate the place first. Captain, look! Your new home! Yes, be it ever so humble, there's no place like home. <laughs> Tintin! And Captain Haddock! What brings you to Hudson Manor? Captain Haddock inherited Hudson Manor, Nestor. Congratulations, Captain. Uh, I mean, sir. Don't point that thing at me. It might be loaded. Sorry, sir, but I've been hearing prowlers about. Prowlers? Oh, Nestor, you're just hearing things. Who'd be prowling around Hudson Manor? Yes. Who would be prowling around Hudson Manor? And why? We'll look the place over from cellar to attic. Nothing but a lot of old junk down here, Tintin. Let's get out of here, boy. This place gives me the creeps. I still say there are prowlers about. Who or what could that be? Probably the little professor, a calculator. The gun might frighten the professor. Come in, professor. Ah. <gasps> Who is this unwelcome visitor, and what is he after? Watch for Treasure Chest. Thursday's Adventures of Tintin. Red Rackham's Treasure. Treasure Chest. Returning from their unsuccessful treasure hunt, Tintin and Captain Haddock visited Hudson Manor to look over the captain's new home. But 
A mysterious car followed them to Hudson Manor. While Tintin and the captain inspected his chateau, the doorbell rang. Nestor, the butler, opened the door and... <laughs> Tintin! Sounded like somebody dropped something. Uh, Nestor is sort of clumsy. <laughs> what kind of statue is that, Tintin? That's St. John the Evangelist. He's always shown holding a cross because his nickname was Thunder and Typhoons. Hey! That's my line! Help me move this painting, Captain. Captain, look! An eagle! It's okay. But when you've seen one eagle, <laughs> you've seen them all. St. John's nickname was the Eagle of Patmos. Yeah. The treasure map said, and then shines forth the Eagle's Cross. See? The Eagle's Cross, right in front of us. And look on this globe. Here's the island we searched for Red Rackham's treasure. What's this all about, boy? This is exactly where we were, but... Oh, sorry, Captain. Captain, look! Not another red button, boy. Look! Jules, gold treasure! Captain, we found it! We found Red Rackham's treasure! Tintin, me boy! This is our lucky day! We hit the jackpot! Oh, I wouldn't say that. I hit the jackpot. You and the treasure. It's one of the bird brothers. Them bird brothers are for the birds. You can't keep us birds in a cage forever. <laughs> Shh, quiet, Snowy. I have a hunch you'd lead me to the treasure. A million dollar hunch. <laughs> I'll take this loot and go south. No, no, vest. Huh? Nine pin shrimp was right all the time. The treasure was vest. Professor, what are you doing here? Well, I stand back, Shorty. No tricks now. Duck, Captain. Don't go away, Tintin. Perhaps I can be of some assistance. Okay, okay. I know with the quit. I have had it. Lionel, look at this. Captain Haddock invites us to an exhibition of his relics from the unicorn. Good air. Well, Captain, looks like your exhibit is a big success. Not quite. The most important exhibit hasn't arrived yet. Ah, here it comes now. I hope termites eat this wooden monster. Would you like to see my latest invention? Not especially. Good, I will show you how it works. I think I put too much gunpowder in my dynamite. That wacky professor almost wrecked me exhibition. Relax, Captain. All's well that ends well. But on the other hand, you might say, all's well that ends well. Precisely. All's well that ends well. What? Produced by Tully Hachette and Bell Vision. <laughs>